वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विद फ्लो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड वी ऑलरेडी टेक अ क्विक व्यू ऑफ दिस फ्लो चार्ट फ्लो डाइग्राम दैट हाउ ऑक्सीजन कम इन टू एलवलाई एंड हाउ एलवलाई पास एयर ऑक्सीजन टूवर्ड्स दी बॉडी पार्ट एंड हाउ विच काइंड ऑफ वेन्स टेक सी ओ टू इन आवर ब्लड एंड देन दे एग्जेल नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट इन डेप्थ look at here this is the table we should learn that gas in atmosphere okay like oxygen and co2 what amount of oxygen present in atmosphere this much and what amount of co2 present in atmosphere this much amount clear guys and now what how much amount present in alveoli of oxygen this and co2 contained by alveoli this is and in blood in deoxygenated blood oxygen is less compared than co2 now in blood if we talk about oxygenated blood we contain more oxygen compared than co2 and if we talk about tissues we contain less oxygen compared than co2 that's why that's why oxygen move from atmosphere to alveoli atmosphere to alveoli alveoli to oxygenated blood oxygenated blood to the whole body parts and same and same t oxygenated means co2 gas contained by tissue tissues have lots of co2 so they co2 travels towards their lower concentration they enter in blood and then they passes towards alveoli and alveoli passes here and look at this this is the table this is the table so and here diagrammatically representation of this table diagrammatically representation of this table we know that in atmosphere there is high oxygen high oxygen we know that our atmosphere contain high oxygen level how much look at here 159 159 mm per this is the unit now oxygen molecule travel to their high concentration to their low concentration because alveoli contain less less oxygen look at here this is the amount of oxygen in alveoli what do you expect now what do you expect now from where to where oxygen will move of course this is the large value and this is the smaller value so oxygen molecule moves outside to inside and now here is the partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli okay now this term to oxygen transport into pulmonary vein oxygen transport into the pulmonary vein pulmonary vein have less oxygen look at here the arrow sign pulmonary vein contain less oxygen that's why o2 will move alveoli from our pulmonary vein and pulmonary goes towards left atrium and they pass their oxygenated blood into aorta aorta have this much partial pressure this much partial pressure they contain oxygen level this much and tissue tissue contain look at here look at here what amount of tissue contain 40 40 na tissue contain partial pressure 40 mm per hg so where to where oxygen will move here is the level of oxygen in arteries here the oxygen level in tissues where to where oxygen move high to low so here so aorta arteries transport blood to all tissue because tissue contain less oxygen and this arteries contain high oxygen amount now here oxygen is complete oxygen is complete now let's talk about co2 now we know that our tissue contain high high co2 high co2 look at here what amount look at here 45 mm per hg here 
they contain 40 to 45 mm per hg this is the amount of this is the amount of co2 in tissue and co2 move here to here look at this arrow why because in systematic veins they contain less co2 compared than tissue so where to where oxygen will move they move where to where here is 40 here is 40 is 45 here is large and they move towards this and now the partial pressure of co2 here is more compared than alveoli here is more compared than alveoli they have 45 mm per hg co2 level but here they contain 40 so where to where oxygen uh, co2 will move here to here oxygen will move and our atmosphere contain co2 level 0.3 mm hg so here is 40 mm hg so large concentration of co2 present inside the body so co2 will move here to atmospheric so this is the flow charge this is the diagrammatic re representation of mechanism of how gases exchange how gases will exchange this is the whole summary look at here this is the diagram of your alveoli air will go inside means oxygen will go inside and oxygen will come into the blood vessels into the blood vessels then these blood vessels supply the blood all over the body and also blood take with them co2 and they put here co2 and this is out by exhalation oxygen in by inhalation that's all this is the basement membrane and this is the endothelial of blood capillary here red red in color is red blood cell here is blood capillary now we know that inner side of wall is made up with squamous epithelial okay so this is all about your pulmonary artery connected with lungs and this is the portion of alveoli and this is the cavity of alveolar cavity now let's move towards transport of gases how gases will transport to our body how they bind how they show their affinity so basically transport of ox gases we will going to discuss about oxygen and co2 how oxygen will transport and how co2 will transport let's start with how transport of oxygen i give you a quick view then what is blood blood is made up with two things plasma and some formed element formed element and formed element further divided into granular part granular part means rbc wbc and plate lake rbc what they contain rbc contain four hemoglobin now let's talk about what is hemoglobin hemoglobin made up with four subunits sub units made up with four subunits two alpha subunit and two beta subunit i repeat two alpha subunit and two beta subunit they made up with four subunit all subunit contain iron group iron group iron group iron group fe okay so each hemoglobin each hemoglobin bind with oxygen hemoglobin bind with oxygen and hemoglobin also bind with co2 but they show higher affinity towards oxygen as well as co2 also so at a one time one molecule of hemoglobin bind with four oxygen molecule and at a one time one hemoglobin bind with one molecule of co2 when 
हीमोग्लोबिन बाइंड विथ ऑक्सीजन वी कॉल इट एज अ ऑक्सी हीमोग्लोबिन एंड इफ हीमोग्लोबिन बाइंड विथ सी ओ टू वी कॉल इट एज अ डी ऑक्सी हीमोग्लोबिन ओके वाई ग्लोबिन बिकॉज दीज आर ग्लोबुलर इन स्ट्रक्चर ईच आयरन कंटेन वन ऑक्सीजन दिस आयरन कंटेन वन ऑक्सीजन दिस आयरन कंटेन वन ऑक्सीजन दिस आयरन कंटेन वन ऑक्सीजन सो टोटल फोर ऑक्सीजन कैरिड बाय हीमोग्लोबिन बट दीज ऑक्सीजन नॉट बाइंड विथ इन अ रश फॉर्म फर्स्ट इट बाइंड विथ वन ऑक्सीजन ओके लुक इट हियर दिस इज दी स्ट्रक्चर अज्यूम दिस इज दी स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज दी फोर साइट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग दिस इज दी हीमोग्लोबिन एंड देयर इज फोर साइट ऑफ हीम ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग फर्स्ट ऑक्सीजन विल बाइंड हेयर आफ्टर बाइंडिंग ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑक्सीजन दे प्रमोट द बाइंडिंग ऑफ सेकेंड ऑक्सीजन फर्स्ट ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग प्रमोट द बाइंडिंग ऑफ सेकेंड ऑक्सीजन एंड सेकेंड ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग विल प्रमोट द थर्ड ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग एंड थर्ड ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग विल प्रमोट फोर ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग सो ओवरऑल वन हीमोग्लोबिन कंटेन फोर ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल वट एवर आई एक्सप्लेन हियर एवरीथिंग इज रिटर्न हियर डोंट वरी गाइज एवरीथिंग इज रिटर्न हेयर लेट्स चेक आउट दिस ग्राफ ओके ठीक है दिस इज द पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड दिस इज द पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ सेचुरेशन प्रेशर ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन दे वॉन्ट टू सी दैट इफ वी टेक हंड्रेड परसेंट हीमोग्लोबिन एंड ऑक्सीजन बाइंडिंग स्टेट इफ वी टेक हंड्रेड परसेंट सेचुरेशन लेवल इज हियर Here is hundred percent saturation level. Look at here, hundred percent saturation. It means hemoglobin, sorry hemoglobin, completely bind with their four oxygen molecule. And if I want to take that, that how much P fifty value at a fifty percent concentration, how many saturation will there? This much. it means at this pressure at this pressure 50% hemoglobin saturated means 30 partial pressure at 30 partial pressure 50% hemoglobin can bind wow then someone asked to me if i increase this pressure okay you want to increase this pressure okay increase this pressure but when i increase pressure like i increase till 50 and then i check and then i check at 50% partial pressure increase they saturate at 81% means less but if i want to check that at 20 at 25 so when i decrease the partial pressure then they already still reach at 50% saturation means if i in increase partial pressure if i increase partial pressure then this graph tilted this side then graph tilted this side right side if i increase partial pressure then graph tilted right side they show less oxygen plus hemoglobin binding but when i saw if i decrease partial pressure then they show high oxygen hemoglobin binding if i take less partial pressure then i saw that already this 50% saturation is there so graph is this side if graph moves left side it means it means they are more strong in association if graph moves this side then these are present in dissociation state and the graph moves this side then they present in association form i repeat once again guys i'll repeat once again i repeat once again if 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 graph move this side in this direction 
means they show dissociation and which kind of factors show disassociation means they have high co2 it means they have low oxygen that's why they shift here so they they need high pressure for saturation next high h plus ion high bpg if curve will shift this side then they show association what kind of factor will promote association it means oxygen level is high h plus ion is low temperature is low and bpg level is also low so these factor promote association and these factor promote dissociation if graph goes in this direction it means they need more pressure more pressure more oxygen more oxygen for saturation and if they move this direction so it means they have require less pressure and less oxygen because they already have high oxygen this process present in lungs this association process is present in lungs and this dissociation process present in tissues because our lungs contain high oxygen and our tissue contain less oxygen so this is important so guys that's all for now in next video we will cover transport of co2 so if you like my lecture then please subscribe my channel thank you thank you for being a part of adhyan with flow keep smiling and keep revising and revising thank you